Welcome to the Lookout on Outlook series, brought to you by the Teaching and Learning Technologies Group at the University of Wisconsin, River Falls. In this tutorial, we're on the lookout to find a simple way to find someone's email address in order to create a new email or calendar appointment. Let's begin in Outlook 2010. Choose the new email button up near the top here, and as soon as we begin with this, I can um, choose a number of different ways to find somebody's email and begin that um, conversation or email to them, but I'm going to type in part of their name, so let's pick a person that I have not emailed before, and let's try Michael Harris here. Um, if I had emailed Mike before, it would give me a name that you would see coming up here from memory. Since I have not, and I don't really know what his email address is, we can choose to use the check names. As soon as I click on check names, it will search both the contacts area down here, and it will search the global address book to see if it can find that um, from you within here. And so we're going to choose check names and see what that resolves to. And it gives me a list of people here. I could choose uh, Michelle Harris or Michael Harris, and that's the one I want. And there you see now if I point over him, his actual email address will be listed here and that information. So that's how I can easily get somebody's name into the to area. I can do the same thing. I'm going to close this in um, OWA and let's bring up the web browser here. And in OWA, if I choose the new, this little button here uh, will allow me to make a new message. And once I begin the new message, it will allow me to type in the person's name. In the to area, let's try Michael Harris again and part of his name and I do the check names icon here it tells me that it found a number of people and I can resolve it with that address right there so what it's actually doing is searching both the um, contacts list and the global address book and I'm going to show you a little bit about the global address book here I'm going to close this so in OWA if I hit the global address book icon here near the find someone you'll see that it will default here in the global address. This is a list of all the at UWRF and at my.uwrf students, faculty, and staff list that are in here. This group down here in the bottom is my contacts, and that should not, if we've migrated properly, contain um, UWRF email addresses. They would only contain just um, email addresses from people that I've put in my contact list because I can get the rest from the global address here. So a way to find people with this is I can just search right in that area. And there you have it.